QR codes like these can be found almost everywhere these days. Today we're going to look at how to take a boring black and white QR code and spice it up a bit by creating an image with the QR code embedded. To do that we're going to use a website called VisualLead, www.visualead.com. I'm already signed in, but for new users you'll have an option up here to sign up. Once you've created your account, which is free, you're going to have a chance to create your QR code. Right here on the main page is our QR code generator. You have your options for what type of QR code you want. And I'm just going to put in a website. I'm going to do the URL. Techforteachers.com. I'll click Generate QR Code. The second step is to choose an image to use for your QR code. You can upload your own image or browse their gallery and find an image that you like. There are lots of images to choose from. And you can hover over Preview to see what it would look like. When you find one you like, click on the image and it brings you to the editing menu. On this menu you can move and resize your QR code and then you're going to generate either gold or silver. It really doesn't matter which one these are paid options um, however you do need to click on one of them to generate the initial code and on the next step it'll give you an option for a free version. So I'm going to click generate silver and it's going to create my initial QR code. If I'm happy with it, I can go on. Otherwise, I can continue editing and make changes until I'm happy with it. Once I'm ready to go on, I'm going to click Next. And on the next page, it's going to give me my three previews. We have gold, silver, and free. The gold and silver, as I said, are paid options we're going to stick with free. I'm going to come over here to my little blue arrow pointing down and I'm going to click on that button there to go to download my QR code. Here are all of the QR codes I've created so far. Here's my new one that I just made and I'm going to click on the blue download button. It'll give me some options. I can send a link to it to my email if I want. Right now, I'm just going to download it. I'm just going to choose Download. It will download to my Downloads folder. And if I click on that, it's going to open it up. I now have this image that I can use anywhere. I can print it. I can upload it to a website. Whatever I want to do, this is now my image to use.